Ever since moving to this new apartment, I've been just constantly trying to organize, clean, and rearranging things because we just have so much stuff, making it hard to make them work for us. This living room studio space is the last place I tackled. I had a hard time making this space work for many reasons. We live in a small apartment, so our living room is more of a multi-use room. It is our guest room, living room, workout area, and Andrew's main working space. While serving so many purposes, it also needs to satisfy both me and Andrew's must-haves for the space. I wanted the IKEA stacking twin beds as a daybed sofa so our friends and family can stay over while saving us space when not in use. And for Andrew, this is his working space and recording studio, so a nice set as a background and natural lighting are crucial. My goal for the makeover is to make this space easy and pleasant to work in, which entails that the most used gears should be easy to access. Things should be well organized and easy to maintain. The space should also look good so we can film and feel happy to work in there. There are four big furniture pieces that I have to work with in this room. The IKEA Troton cabinet, Target 6 cube organizer, and a 4 shelf trestle bookcase, and a standing desk. All of which were moved from our old apartment except for the new cabinet. The first step is to list out all the items that exist in this space, starting with identifying the most used items. List out what is not working in this space, what causes the most friction in the workflow. For us, it's extremely frustrating when we're not able to set up for filming quickly because we had to clean and find equipment first. After making these lists, the next step is to assign homes to these items. The most used gear should live somewhere easy to access. The not often used gear should be put away into the bottom shelves. To keep things organized, I try my best to work with organization tools that we already have. It seems wasteful and counterintuitive to buy more stuff to organize our already overabundance of stuff. The trade-off here is not having a visually pleasing organization system, but it is okay for now. I did make two purchases for organizers to help organize our gear. A photo organizer to organize extra wires and cords and a 44 drawer organizer to store small gear accessories like batteries and chargers. I got this idea from my cousin Michael and I loved it. My initial plan was to have the organizer on the cabinet but it turned out much bigger than I expected. My number one advice for any makeover or DIY projects is to get a measuring tape and measure everything. I really like the size of the drawer, so I still decided to keep it and try to make it work. If you don't live in a rental apartment, this unit can actually be mounted to the wall. Another key to keeping things organized is to label everything. Oftentimes, things are sitting out on the table or misplaced because they were not assigned a home. I got this label from Daiso and it works perfectly. Now everyone should be able to find where everything is and where they should be returned to. Another big addition that was added to this space is the famous IKEA pegboard system. It serves two purposes. It allows me to decorate vertically without having to mount anything to the walls and also organizes at the same time. The pegboard is mounted with these connectors to the cabinet instead of mounted to the walls. This is a great option for us renters and I love how it turned out. After organizing everything, the last step is to ensure the space is visually pleasing. I focused on minimizing the visual clutters on the shelves. Instead of buying new cabinets, I really wanted to make these open shelves work. I watched a few IKEA DIY videos and decided to make these cabinet doors to hide the clutter. It was quite a journey to create these cabinet doors and I learned a lot. They're not perfect and what I envisioned initially, but I'm glad they're completed now. Miscellaneous items can now be put away in these cabinets. Lights also make a space more pleasant. In addition to our old strip light, we added these light panels under the cabinet. The lights have magnetic backing, making them super easy to mount. I also added a monitor light to the workspace to brighten up the space. 
The last piece of the project is to create a gallery on this wall. Because I didn't want to drill holes, using a picture ledge or a wall shelf is out of the window. I went with three picture frames mounted with command tapes. The frames use plexiglass instead of regular glass, so they are much lighter and more suitable for the command tapes. This space is still a work in progress, but I'm happy with how this corner looks right now. Hopefully, parts of this video inspire you to make some positive changes to your workspace. Next on my project list is to create a charging station, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!